Okay, so today is the 12th of November, and I am in the process of rebuilding the 4T65E HD that's going to go in my 1993 Lumina Z34 project that I'm putting a supercharged 3800 in. It's sitting over there on the engine stand. Um, I have a lot of projects going on, as you can see. Anyway, um, just cleaning and inspecting parts today. I have already bought all the parts that I felt like I would need to fix this transmission. Um, this transmission actually uh, was working okay. Um, when I bought the car uh, to use for a drivetrain donor, it was a 2000 model uh, Pontiac Grand Prix GTP. Um, it had almost 300,000 miles on it, and the transmission was not pooling. It would, it would pull when you first started the car, and after it ran for a minute, it would quit pulling. And so I figured the filter was stopped up on it, and sure enough, that's what was wrong. I brought it home, dropped the pan, put a filter in it, and some five quarts of new fluid, and then the transmission worked okay. It was a little bit lazy on the shifts. And, you know, since it had 300,000 miles on it nearly, I wasn't going to put it in my project car without overhauling it. So I've got it all apart now. And I just wanted to show the difference between a 300,000-mile fourth-gear clutch hub and shaft and a new one. And you can see the wear on that spline right there on the end and then this end is where the fourth gear clutches engage and then this is a new one with a hardened end this part's only $28 brand new um, with a hardened end and let's see if I can hold it good enough here so you can see the difference the wear mark there now, I'm going to put my phone down here for a minute and see if I can uh, demonstrate how loose it is in the spline where it goes. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see that looseness, but it is very loose. Um, this would fail probably on pretty short order once I put it back together. So $28 is pretty cheap to avoid having this problem. And then you can see how much tighter this one is. It, I can't hardly make it wobble at all. It just fits very tight into that spline. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to show in this video. That's all for today.